really appreciate the opportunity to be here and give a chance to, to give this uh, talk. Um, as you mentioned, my name is Ed Boyle. I come from uh, Bend, uh, Oregon in the western part of the United States. And I've been working on uh, developing some systems to help improve um, blood evacuation from the chest after surgery. So uh, I was uh, really honored to get a chance to come and, and talk about this here with uh, your group. Um, as all of you know, Getting the blood uh, out of the chest after heart surgery is imperative. You know, almost every patient has some degree of bleeding, but there's certainly patients that have a much higher degree of bleeding, whether they've been on Plavix, whether they're complex procedures. Um, and so we put in chest tubes to try to evacuate that blood. Most of the patients will come out wet, as we say, and then slowly dry up over the next couple of hours as the coagulation system is restored. And during that time, it's really imperative to have adequate evacuation capacity to get that blood out of there. And if you look at it in simplest terms, if your evacuation capacity exceeds the amount of bleeding that you have, you should be fine from an evacuation perspective. But if your evacuation capacity is not as much as you're bleeding, then you can start to have problems with blood building up around the heart and lungs, which we call retained blood complex. And one of the most critical features in whether or not you're gonna end up with reduced evacuation capacity is whether or not the chest tubes clog up. Um, this is something that we've surveyed, and almost all heart surgeons and nurses are, are aware of this problem. Uh, there was a study done at the Cleveland Clinic uh, by Dr. Gilnoff's group, um, where they could show this in at least 36% of their patients, and these were elective, you know, first case of the day, uh, not the more complex patients. And what was interesting is, if you look at this picture right here, about 80% of the time the clogging was on the inside of the tube where it couldn't be seen on the outside. So the nurses will do all the work they can up to the skin level and strip and tap and try to get as much blood, but most of the clogging's up here where the, where the side holes are. And if you look at the physics, and this, you know, we all know this from coronary literature as well, that even slight reductions in the diameter have big impacts in flow. So a 50% reduction in diameter of one of these tubes can have a 95% uh, reduction in flow which is Purcell's law.